find the derivative solution. So we do have a fraction, so we could use the quotient rule. However, we have a monomial on the bottom. Whenever you have a monomial on the bottom, it's a better idea to rewrite the function. So we can write it as 4x cubed over x, so 4x cubed over x, plus, and then the next one, 2x over x, and then lastly, 5 over x. So you can just do each one of these over x, separated by plus signs. Now you can simplify it, so it's still h of x. Here we have x cubed over x, so one of the x's cancels, so we get x squared. Here these cancel, so we get 2. And we do have to differentiate this, and it's 5 over x. So since there's a number up top, it's easier when you bring this upstairs and write it like this. This way we can use the power rule in the next step. Okay, so now we're ready to take the derivative. So h prime of x. Using the power rule, 2 times 4 is 8, so you get 8x. This derivative here is 0. This one, you bring the negative down, so you get negative 5x. And then negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, right? Because you subtract 1, right? It's the power rule. So it's negative 1 minus 1, and that's negative 2. And what happened to the 2? Again, its derivative was 0. And that's it.